What is up, everybody? It's your boy Jam, and I'm back again with another exciting episode of Know Your Legality. Usually when I do this series, I'm talking about old events such as mythicals or cool shinies that you may have missed, and you're trying to get an authentic version. But today we're actually talking about a more recent event, and that is going to be the Electric Terra Mimikyu. Now, the reason I want to go over this event is because I see this all the time with the Mimikyu and in past events where you try to trade for one, you go on a local trade forum or a Facebook group or Twitter or something saying, hey, can I get this thing in a trade? I'm looking for this event Mimikyu only. And then everyone starts offering you random Mimikyus they caught in the wild or random ones they bred because either A, they are trying to scam you or B, they just didn't read your post throughout. So if you are looking to get this event, because it wasn't released in a ton of places, only the US, Canada, and Brazil too. So I know a lot of people are trading for it and a lot of people are trading shiny. So I wanna go over the event, talk about um, all the information you need to know because there's been a lot of Mimikyu events in the past. So let's hop right into this thing. First off, let's talk about some of the information that goes with this Mimikyu guaranteed. For one, it's going to have an Electric Terra. Um, that's going to be obvious. It kind of doesn't really show that down here, but this is an Electric Terra Mimikyu. That the point of this event is that it's a Mimikyu Machina Pikachu for Halloween. And that's why it has Thunderbolt too. So it's a really cool event in that regard, but we're going to talk about that later. Um, so check for the Electric Terra. Right off the bat though, what you can tell with this event is does it have, does it have a Cherish Ball? And does it have the ribbons. This is the event ribbon comes with most events that are released out here. Um, that's going to be something very important to note. The Cherish Ball, something really important you need to look out for as well. Um, and also, one thing you also want to keep track of is the OT and the ID. That Trixie for the OT and 231006 for the ID. Now the reason this is important is because even if the person is trading you a Mimikyu in a Cherish Ball, there's been a lot of those in the past, including a normal Mimikyu dating back to Sun and Moon back in 2017. So Event Mimikyu has been around since then, so someone could easily be offering you this event just because they really didn't understand what you wanted and just thought you wanted an Event Mimikyu. So always look into that when you're trading for someone, check the data of the Pokemon and make sure it fits everything. Um, so Cherish Ball. Make sure it has the ribbon and make sure to check the OT and ID after that. If it hits these flags, get the green flag there. Make sure it's got these. It's going to have Faithful Encounter at 25. And that's something really important to note too. Is that anyone can breed Mimikyu. Cherish Ball can't breed down. You obviously can't breed an event ribbon down. So check the level 2. That someone's offering you anything under level 25. Whether it's level 1 or level 10. It's not the event Mimikyu, it's just something they caught or something they bred. Um, see, there's the Electric Terra right there. Um, ability Disguise, Mimikyu can't have any other ability, so obviously there's that. Move Set 2. Um, moves can obviously be changed, but if you're looking for something in your collection and untouched, Thunderbolt, Destiny Bond, Phantom Force Curse. Again, something VR1 doesn't have. Splash, Atonish, Baby, Haldize, and Copycat. So a completely different set. Not one move is the same. And check the markings too. Now this is something I really want to mention that, you know, there is the Alola Rim. Now if someone's offering you this, it's going to have the Alola kind of mark, which is a little plus sign or a, or a clover. I don't remember what people tend to call it. Um, but check for that too. Scarby is not going to have that. It's going to have the Sword Shield marking right here. And that's basically it. The gender gender doesn't matter. It can be boy or a girl. Date, I, I think I mentioned this earlier, but check the date, but don't worry too much about it, that people can change the dates on their Switch. Um, so if I did mention the date earlier, I do want to kind of backtrack and say that, yes, the date can be important. I would say most people probably aren't messing with the date on their Switch just because it's not really that relevant in Scarlet Violet, but um, you never know. Maybe if someone was messing with it in Sword Shield, transferred over i know mine probably doesn't say this at all so you know check all the information check if it has the cherish ball first first flag you want to look out for then start digging deeper into the event does it have the event ribbon does it have trixie and this id this ot this id because someone could easily be trading you a pgl remember it's shiny lock too this event can't be shiny so so i'm just trading you any shiny mimic it's not the event or it's a hacked version 
Um, it's not going to be, it's not going to have any of this information right here. So check the OT, the ID, check the electric Terra. People can change the Terra, but if you want something authentic and you don't want to have to change the Terra again, um, obviously check out for that. And that's basically the main info. Check for the Scarlet Violet Ribbon, check the level. Um, it also has a mark. I'm going to put the name of the mark in text right here just because I don't know off the top of my head. Someone pointed it out to me in a comment. So if there's no text, that means there's no mark. If I put a text, like, say, right here at some point before this, that means that's the mark you should look out for with the event. Uh, I may put a picture up, too. But, yeah, that's all the information of this event. This is a more quick know your legality. It's just over one event. Again, I wanted to do this so people aren't getting scammed. I see this all the time. I saw Tatsugiri. And I saw this in past events, too, that someone tries to trade for a Mimikyu event. And then everyone starts offering them random e Mimikyus, either just ones they caught in the wild or bred, because they just don't read the post. Like, I don't want to say everyone's a scammer, but I just don't think everyone fully reads into things. They see, oh, they're offering shinies and they want a Mimikyu. I have this Mimikyu I bred. Let me offer it to you. So that's what I'm trying to prevent here. So that's going to be all for this video, guys. If you enjoy, make sure to subscribe. Let me know if there's any Know Your Legalities you want me to do. If you're looking for any past events, mythical, shinies, even just old really cool ones, let me know. And um, check out the links in the description on my Discord, Twitter, all that fun stuff. And your boy Jim's going to be signing out. I hope everyone has an awesome day.